Yo, what's up guys? Today I'm going to be teaching you how to do lighting. This is actually going to be in like many different parts for like indoors, outdoors, nighttime, sunset, and so on. So, hope you guys actually enjoyed this video. Thank you guys for 100 subs, um, 100 follows on Twitter. We guys, <laughs> we appreciate it guys. So yeah, let's get right into this video. So as you guys can see, if you guys actually follow our Twitter and watch our last um, previous speed art, we actually, um, I created this scene with these characters, um, the weather and this, um, girl. Then I'm going to be teaching how to do this, like, sunset effect that I did. So first thing I did was actually add a sky. So first thing you want to understand is what kind of scene you're going for, whether it's indoors or outdoors. For me, when it comes to indoors, like... There's no point in actually using an HDRI if you can't even see it. But because this is actually a sunset GFX and she's outside, so it would actually be useful. I don't actually use an HDRI. I actually use a, um, how can I even call it? It's just a sky. It's not an HDRI, it's just the sky. There's a difference between a JPEG and an HDRI. So I'm going to be using, which one did I even use? Pretty sure. Yeah, I use this one. Now what I'm going to do is go into word and I'm going to rotate this. Did I even have it in this direction? No. What? So I'm going to make the background transparent so you guys can see what is going on. So there's, here's a few pictures of the before I did this guy and after I did this guy. There's a difference if most of you guys can see, but yeah, I can see it. So next thing I'm going to add is a sun. I'm going to have it reflect to this direction. Let's see, have it like this maybe. <clears throat> Let's see how it looks before, after. Little to no difference. Now I'm going to make it a bit more yellow. Let me make it 1.5. Let's see. Now this is before the sun and after. I hope you guys can actually see a difference because I actually can't that much, but you know, adding a sun is adding a sun. Now I'm going to be adding an area light. Setting it maybe behind our hair so it like reflects sort of. Like maybe over here. Yeah, I'm going to have it set over here. So another thing actually people need to know is beams shape um and spread so if i will go ahead and do like this let's say i have a plane like a floor down here and i'll set it to maybe um green you know what yeah i'm set it to pink now let's say for example i was to like make a rim lighting or something like that and i was to bring this up okay this actually looks weird so if i was to, like maybe do like this and then make it, I don't know, blue. As you guys can see, it actually reflects on the floor and sometimes it will ruin people's GFX. So what you can do is actually control the spread and lower it. So now it doesn't like reflect on the floor and only on the player. So hope this actually helped you, this small tip, because I just found this one out. So I'm going to make this one, this yellow type. And I'm going to lower it down. Maybe set it like this. You know what, I'm gonna set it more behind her, more like this. Yeah, I'm going to delete this pink as it reflects. I'm going to actually increase the spread, increase the size of the shape, and maybe the power of this. And you guys, as you guys can see, there's a bit more light, but sometimes what I like to do is add an extra light to the top. This actually helps out most of the time, but not always. So be sure to play around with this because it won't always fit for any type of GFX. Like this. And I'll set it to, I like to setting, uh, I'll set it to maybe pink. And I'll go ahead and lower it down. Let's see, maybe like this. Yeah, so here's the before I actually did this, and here's the after. Big difference. Woo. 
So another thing is you can add because this actually looks not blank but kind of boring. And let's say for example you want a mist and you don't and you guys don't know how to like do mist. What you can do is actually create a cone. Go ahead and go into solid mode. And I'm going to go ahead and set this to the origin so it will be much more easier to use. I'd like to scale this up. Scale it by the X and have it more like behind the main character. Um maybe like this. We don't want, I want the camera to also capture this. Okay, so let's see if this is okay. Um yeah, this is okay like this. So what I like to do now is create a new layer um, material. Um, go ahead and set the material object. Okay, there we go. Delete the principal BSDF. Create a um, vol volume scatter. Oops. Oh my. There we go. Connect this to the volume and not the surface. And just play with the color. I'll be go ahead and bring it down. As you guys can see, it's actually covering the entire character, which we don't want that to happen. The density, I would want to go ahead and lower it down. And I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. I'm not even going to try. And have it like this. Then I could go ahead and lower this down again. Actually, you know what? Yeah, we can have it like this. And these lights can go a little bit back. Because I don't want the camera to capture it to capture it that much. But maybe just like this, yeah. So, 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 so. I'll go ahead and rotate it. Um. Yeah, I actually like how this one looks. Let me just go ahead and do it like this. Maybe I should... Okay, for this tutorial, I might turn on the sky. Actually, no. Let me keep it like this. So you guys can actually see more. What I'm going to do is add a plane. Grab this side by the X. No, <laughs> by the edge. Click E. Grab by the Z. Do like this. Control plus B. Scroll here to make it smoother. Like so. And have it like this and scale it up oh maybe bring it closer yep there we go i bring it up a bit so we don't have the like weird work shadow hold shift to actually have a better whatever it's called and there we go and you can see still that see that light because I didn't control the I forgot what it was called. Um spread right. I'm going to color this like this purplish. So you guys actually also know how to make this like simple cute background or whatever you want to call it. And this is not actually it. People always get confused like why do I don't get like good lighting on Blender and stuff? It's not always about Blender. You also need to do color correction in Photoshop or whatever you use. So we're actually going to jump into Photoshop and color correct this. So I'll see you guys in a few minutes. And we made it into Photoshop. As you can see, for most of you it might look okay, but for me it looks blank. But very blank. So what I'm going to do is... Actually do this all the time is add a curve. Let me actually make it like this so you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm going to bring this one up. Not a lot. Just like this, I'm gonna add a vibrant, bring up the saturation. Like this will be okay. Um, what else? An exposure. I hate exposure sometimes because it's too bright sometimes. Gonna lower down the fill. Gonna bring it up actually. There we go. Um. You can add a color balance, but eh, depends. I'm gonna make it this um, what is it called? Magna. I hope I pronounced it right. Yeah, sure. Why not? Um, and a color lookup. So 
no i'm pretty sure you guys actually um should actually have all of this because these are all like adobe presets so um as you guys can see it actually expects your gfx a lot and has a lot and it has like a lot of um variety of like um lookups what do you even call this um let me just go for the, what i had yeah there we go and i'll load the opacity for this one i'm gonna wait, go ahead and bring this up and i'll let you guys see how it looks before and after before and after you guys can see a huge difference this is actually going to be a part one out of i don't know how many because i'm going to be making like mini tutorials like how to do anti-lighting um night lighting and all of these like type so thank you guys for watching i know it's actually been short a short video maybe not but yeah thank you guys for watching like sub follow us on twitter thank you guys for all the um support and stuff so yeah thank you guys for watching and i'll catch you guys next time peace